Hello, Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, the person you are dealing with. All right. What is going on for Aquarius? Hmm, I keep seeing this king of coin. There's a king of coin here, but he's in reverse, which is interesting. There could be someone who's not over you, could be a Virgo, but it feels like this person, when they had the chance, they didn't give you very much attention or, you know, it might very much of their attention or time. But now they could be missing you, but they could be blaming you also. King of coin in reverse, someone who could be very selfish, self-centered and focused. They definitely could be spying. They may want to come back around. I think this person is not done with the relationship. You might be done. This may be a side note. Three of cups in the moon. Person can be very manipulative though. It might be a Pisces, but um, not that Pisces are manipulative. Just uh, that's just the moon is there. But I feel like there's someone. I feel like there's someone around you who needs to do some shadow work. You guys have either um, an ex. I don't think it's the person you de you're dealing with. I feel like it's someone who is watching you, Aquarius, who is around you right now. Um, but they haven't done the inner work or the shadow work. But they're kind of like looking at you and thinking like. Maybe things went bad in their life because of you, or maybe you pointed something out that they needed to fix. Um, I don't know. Like you pointed out their demons or something like that. I don't. I don't know. What I'm picking up right there, but I just get kind of like a lurking energy there. He's still here. Eight of coins in reverse, though, and strength in reverse. But this person isn't willing to work on this. Could be a Leo. What is this card? But they want a new beginning with you. You guys have someone around you who wants a new beginning, but they don't want to do the work. But I get also with the, um, you, you may not either, Empress is in reverse. I get that someone went off with somebody else though, the third party, and maybe they, they didn't get pregnant, they wanted to get pregnant and they didn't, or they got pregnant and lost the baby or something like that, or, because Empress in reverse is like someone who doesn't want to grow something, something didn't happen the way they were hoping. All right, but that's not, feels like a past energy, it feels like something who... Someone who you don't want to deal with anymore. I'm just getting like there was the person, like the person went off with somebody else. Yeah. Fools in reverse. There was no new beginning here. Someone did something really stupid, but it's in reverse, and now they're regretting it. Five of Cups and whoops, the Seven of Swords is under there. It fell off my lap. But look what's behind it that wanted to be seen. This person is coming back in for a new beginning. I'm not sure. I think he was upright. He may have been in reverse, but either way, there's secrets. So someone did something with with a third party, and it didn't work out. I'm seeing fighting here, and they're sad, and they're worried. Obviously, Nine of Swords now Five of Wands, Five of Cups. But this feels like old energy, right? This is like something like. We keep seeing this and, and it's like, who cares? Don't come back around. Nobody wants your seconds or thirds or fourth, whatever you're doing. Um, this person just needs to keep going. Yeah, something didn't work out the way they were hoping. Yeah, this they went with somebody the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person you're dealing with, they got played by a player. Four of coins, they don't want it anymore. They're letting it go. They can't believe they messed up with the moon and the five of wands. There was no love there. I think they're realizing that they want to come back and be with you now. Chariot, they want to leave the past in the past. They want to communicate, but this is over. You've moved. Look at that. You have new love or you're moving on to new love but because this is over and you're going to tell them that. So you have someone who's coming back in who messed up. Went off with someone else. Maybe I married this person. I don't know. Maybe even had kids with them. But they are not happy, you guys. This um, Knight of Wands. They got played by a player. That's what's kind of funny. Knight of Swords. Upright. They, someone may have rushed them into marriage. Rushed, like gotten pregnant and then wanted them to get married. Because Ten of Cups is usually a marriage card. The Star card. Yeah, they had hope that this was going to work out. It's kind of like, almost like for some of you, this person had a chance to come back to you and work things out. Like maybe six months ago, a year ago, whatever, a month ago. And they didn't want to, but now all hope is gone, gone because you, they hurt you. They hurt you too many times. You're done. And they're hoping that maybe you'll forgive them because now they have a broken heart. Now they're really regretting their decisions with the four of coins in reverse. Justice. It's called karma. So they may be losing money when the four of coins also. It's like he's holding on to as many coins as he can, but in reverse, it's like everything's just like gone. Money's spilling out. This person... 
This person may have definitely played like around with someone who was a lot younger than them. They may have even lied to them, but um, they may have lied about like their money or their status. But that's coming out into the open. What is the moon energy? Yeah, look at this. The five of wands with the moon and the ten of swords. Whoever this person was, they can't believe this is happening to them. They thought this would never go down this way. They thought that they could get away with murder. and But you know, the universe is watching. So I feel like this person is like, I feel like they're dizzy, like they're in their head. They may have like ringing in their ears. They may be getting headaches or migraines and they can't believe like what has happened, like how, what their choices, what they thought was going like to be the perfect, you know, end all be all with this person, whoever they ran off with. Um, it's turning into like a, a nightmare. Oh, that was your, someone had that last week. I remember that. Let me see. What is the two of cups here though? I really feel like this person is coming back and saying five of coins, yeah, in reverse. They, this other thing didn't take off. Well, obviously it did. They, it went a certain distance, but we got the full in reverse. There's no new beginning with this person for you. They want to come out of the cold. I literally hear them saying like, I get it now. I see eye to eye with you, Aquarius. We're on the same page. I get it now. And it's like, mm -mm. too little, too late. What is the chariot energy here? The ten of coins. I think they want to come back because you you offer them a lot of stability. This other situation has drained them. It's drained them financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, everything. This person is... Like, I feel like this person has hit rock bottom. They're hitting rock bottom right now. What is Eight of Wands? Six of Coins is in reverse. This person has no money. They're coming back to you because you have money. You have stability. They don't have anything to offer. I don't think you really want anything from them. But again, this person may not have like money to eat right now. Maybe they had their wages garnished. This is serious karma. So whatever they've done to other people or, you know, is coming back around to them. What is death? What is death here? Walking away. Yeah, I don't see you wanting anything new with this. You have the Ace of Cups though, Aquarius. So two of, oh, Page of Cups. Page of Cups in reverse. You don't even want to reach out to this person. You don't even take their call, their text, their, their um, message. They're blocked. Page of Cups and more. The Page of Swords. So there's spine. This guy in this deck is so intense. Like he looks angry, the Page of Swords. You know? So I feel like this person is really pissed off with you and they may even be blaming you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, but I say you blocked this person. You have them blocked. They're trying to get to you. They could be trying to get to your money. What is a Ten of Coins? So three of coins, yeah, they're saying, I want to work it out. I want to work on this now, nine of cups. I see now, I see what a great team we were, what a great partnership we were, Aquarius. I want to work on this. I want to be with you, Aquarius. You know, the star card is here. Of course, that's you wishing for you. This person can be a king of cups. All this person wants to do is get back to with you, get back and be around your energy. Obviously, Aquarius, you have ascended and they have not because I'm feeling like you guys are on two, two completely different playing fields, two different levels. And that's why this card to me is so, is so interesting because like these two people see eye to eye, like you guys are on the same page, but really you're not this person. This person can't keep up with you. They have not ascended. They, they don't even get it. Um, this person was foolish. It's like this person is going to come back and try to act like nothing has happened, but they're trying to act like they're on the same level as you as well. I'm getting like, they're acting like like I get it now, Aquarius. I get what you're saying. I get all the spiritual stuff. I get I've ascended. I have, you know, done the inner work and they have not. They they haven't done any of that. Okay, what fell out? We have I like you and ascending. <laughs> what did I say? You have ascended. This person is not ascending. I think you are meeting somebody new, the Ace of Cups, or you've already met this person recently. But um you're gonna meet someone who has ascended, who is on your level. So it says, someone likes you, romance is blo blooming, fun, flirting, and want to date. What's cute is that this is new energy, and it's sweet. And this past stuff is like stuff that keeps showing up, maybe because of retrograde, but what else? Anything, the engagement ring, wow. So you know what, you guys, what's funny is, like the tarot wants to talk about this past situation. These cards want to tell you about the new thing. You got an engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So you guys are meeting somebody new. You guys are going to hit it off. They've ascended as well as you. You may get engaged and married to this person as well. 
This is what this other person doesn't like from the past. They're watching you, they're spying on you, and they are jealous. But this is also karma. You're moving on because you did the inner work. Let me see what your message is from this deck. What is the what is the message here? Co-create. And it says blessed. Yeah, you guys are coming into like a divine partnership. This is somebody where you are really, you are on the same page and you do see eye to eye. So that's interesting. Um, I didn't pull messages out of this deck. Let me pull some out for you guys to see what they say. Now these may have nothing to do with their reading. Just, you know, I'm gonna take them out of this bag. I'm tired of this bag. This could be other things going on in your life. Okay, one fell in my lap. Oh, two, forced. Muddled, unclear thinking. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. I feel like some of you are already at the end of the journeys with this person here. I think you've already learned a lot. I feel like this could also be this other person with the muddled thinking. I feel like this person may be drinking extra. They maybe feel like they're wandering through a forest, you know, like they just don't even know what to do anymore, where to go. Um, that's why one re another reason why they're coming back towards you, like you're a beacon of light, you're a beacon of hope. They're just hoping you will accept them back or help them in some way. This is candle. You'll be shown the way. Oh my gosh. So here we have muddled, unclear thinking. Someone's like on a like journey walking through the woods, the forest, hopelessly, and then we have candles. Someone will be shown the way. Again, I don't think this is, now you may have some other issues going on in your life and you need to know. Maybe this is something that has to do with a different situation you need an answer you need guidance um, you'll be shown away what else what else marriage oh my gosh yeah some of you are going to be married to this person that's coming in here you're going to co-create a life together with them hmm because this journey over here with this past person, this might not be over. There's There may be a little bit more drama. I don't think it's gonna affect you at all, but they may wanna come in for one last fight or you're gonna to have to tell them no, or they may want money. But this is what's making you ready for this new person, this new relationship. So I'm gonna extend this reading. I wanna know about who this new person is. I'm going to um, pick up on messages between filming because this cheated, this thing is really, he's really calling to me. There's something here else. So I'm gonna find out who this new person is. I don't wanna focus on the the past person, excuse me. I don't really wanna go there. I wanna kinda of just let that be. If it shows up, I guess we'll have to acknowledge it. But I'm gonna to try to focus on this new person that's either in your life now or coming in for some of you. Actually, I feel like it's for a lot of you. Because if you've been through this journey with this other, this hellacious situation, I feel like you're being blessed. Like justice, you're being blessed with something new, something better. Okay, so I'm going to put the link below. You guys have a fantastic week. And again, remember, this is for November. So um, I'll be out. I'll be doing some weeklies coming up here in the next couple of days also. So have a great week or weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.